think this guy is the next legend in the industry. Uh, Chris, he's an amazing personality. He's always there to help. And the good thing about Chris is he's a team player. Uh, he works cross line, up line, down line. He helps wherever he can. And that is what people like. People uh, respect that. Uh, they respect uh, that help. And uh, he's helped me uh, on many, many occasions. He's just a great guy. Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring you to Mr. Uh, Chris Bills, and he's going to talk a little bit now about prospecting and what you can do on Facebook to help you build your community. Over to you, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Awesome, man. Can you hear me okay? We certainly can, my friend. Perfect, perfect. Well, I appreciate this. This is an absolute honor, you guys. And, uh, you know, the number one thing that's really helped me through my time of doing networking and all that is you do what they say, you get what they get, right? And I've always followed a lot of people that you actually saw today. You know, I follow the entrepreneurs and the people that do what they're doing so I can get what they get, right? And that's the number one thing to take here and understand that you've got a plethora of amazing leadership within this, right? And so why are we interested in this? Why do we want to do something like this? And it's because we believe that we belong here into something that's going to literally change the rest of time. I mean, 2020 was rough and 2021, we're gonna knock it out of the park and that's what we're here to do, you guys. So I'm gonna keep it quick and simple. If you wanna jump into the slides for me. So obviously we're gonna talk about prospecting and marketing. You know, I've been able to have some fun in the industry. Um, I've learned to do the hotel meetings, the three-way calls, you know, and I've been taking some notes and with Hugh Paul really hitting on building a list and using your upline, it's very, 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 very valuable. And you're going to hear and see some of the very similar things that I've talked that he's talked about that I'm going to talk about, but a little bit more on the virtual side, right on the internet side. And I think this can go a long ways by really just keeping it simple. So I'm going to teach you a few ways and show you a few ways on how to gain more presence on Facebook, specifically Facebook, but you can use these uh, different, uh, you know, like, I guess you can call them schemes or different ways of going about it, techniques on any other social platform, right? So when you're looking at this, I've got so many people within my network who have never had Facebook even 30 days ago. You know, they, they don't want to blow up their community about, you know, spamming them and all this stuff. And so this is a great way to tackle this piece, right? And so by building a following, you can go right now, create a Facebook and have zero friends. And that's perfectly fine because this is going to take you in the next 15 minutes to the steps of gaining not only great prospects and great friends on Facebook, but niche related people who have the same mindset as you people who want to do what you're doing, right? So as you see on the screen, building a following on Facebook, right? Uh, simple, simple steps. These are the basics to really build in that. And I want to go through this. So joining niche related groups. Okay. I've got a few here that can help you. Um, and, and I talk about crypto groups, right? You can search Bitcoin groups, Tron groups, uh, XRP, Ethereum, all these groups, right? Now being in those groups, you've now are able to relate with everybody in that group, right? You're in the crypto space. And so by getting into a group like that, you're going to find a lot of like-minded people. Now you can look up investing groups, right? Obviously that's not a word we use. We're, con we're contributors, but you can look into those groups because those are similar people work from home, networking groups, affiliate marketing groups, all of those have such a huge relation and there's thousands of more you guys. So you can really understand the, the networking you can do by just simply diving into a group. So now let's say you've gotten into four or five groups, right? Not only are you going to learn and build your knowledge, which is absolutely amazing in the crypto space, working from home space, all of that good stuff. So you're not only going to learn, right? That's already a, a plus in its own. You're going to be able to go and, you know, figure out what to do in those groups. Now, the engaging aspect is huge. And when we talk about Facebook, Facebook is, is, is just as a business as anything else. And we always talk about this part in my in my groups and in my trainings is you have to feed the beast. OK, you have to feed the beast. And what I mean by that is you have to give to Facebook before you receive. And what I mean by that is when you go and like and comment and click and watch videos, you know you're categorized in every single one of those. If you watch a video for 10 seconds that someone posted, you're categorized 
as a person who watches videos for 10 seconds. It, it is unbelievable, but I promise you, it is the absolute truth. And so when you're in a group, let's say you're in a, a Bitcoin group and you're liking and sharing on these, on these posts that people are posting, your name's relevant, right? You're popping up in someone's notifications constantly. That's a big plus. We're going to go into that. Um, you give value, right? If you found, so for instance, we saw recently that PayPal, you know, took on the cryptocurrency world and now added crypto. That was a huge piece of news that every crypto guru loved and most likely shared. And that was huge to bring to somebody new, right? I, I've used PayPal for a long time. Many of us do. And then all of a sudden they're tackling on the crypto world. That's like, wow, that's huge. I have a buddy who's been talking about crypto. Well, let's look more into this, right? So you give value, you post in that group something valuable like that, whether it's just an article that you didn't write, right? You didn't even really research it. You just knew PayPal teamed up with crypto. I'm going to post it here. Now you've brought value to that group. People are going to start liking and commenting on your post. Now you're, you know, making moves in that group and then you're going to get added by members. You can also add other members, right? And that's going to start to build your following with niche related people. Um, and then when you start adding those people to your group and then now they're on your Facebook wall, right? They're posting maybe about their family, their friends, maybe about their opportunity that they're doing, maybe about anything else. Show them engagement, show them some love, right? Show them that, you know, and show Facebook that you're engaging on Facebook's platform. Cause what does this do for you? If you were to do this once a day, every other day, however you want, the more you do it, the better. But if you're to do this and start out by doing these simple steps, maybe once a morning or devote some time to do this, you're now liking and commenting. Okay. Maybe you plan to post on your own wall once or twice a day. And if you do that, you want to first go and do all this because you give, you give to Facebook before you receive. And when I say you receive, when you go to make a post, you want people to see it. You want people to comment on it, like it, love it, share it, all that. Right. But, Facebook algorithm is tricky and you want to be able to give to Facebook, show them that you're given. And then when you make your post, your post becomes very relevant because of what you're doing in part of the algorithms, right? If you want to jump to the next slide. So while doing this, right, and we're moving over to now you've gained some people, you've, you've, you've jumped into a few groups. You've maybe connected with a few people, however, however that may be, right? It's, it's really up to you on how big and broad you want to expand on this. So the next things to do is to keep it simple. Now, everything I'm demonstrating and sharing right now isn't the way, it's a way, right? And I think that's very important to understand because these are things that a lot of trial and error happen. And Roni, Tony's on the call. She had a great segment. I appreciate what you uh, demonstrated there. And I talked to her the other day and I said, you know what? we're just we're just trial and error experts you know the number one thing the the two top things i always talk about and you can ask my groups is use google which she highlighted tremendously and then also press buttons right you know when you're first downloading uh, telegram a lot of us are new to telegram a lot of us are new to these tron wallets and and tron link and all that good stuff click on the buttons learn it right so keeping things simple is very important because you don't need to know everything like Hughes talked about, like a lot of the other presenters have talked about, you know, just kind of step aside, let your upline help you out, let your partners help you out. Because when I go to introduce this to my best friend, he knows me. He's like, dude, you, you don't come on, really? You're going you're gonna to do this. You're going to make millions in this. Like, I don't see that. And it's like, well, let me introduce you to Hugh Paul. You know, Hugh Paul's done this. He's doing this and he's going to keep doing this. Let me introduce you to him. He'll brighten you up and he'll, he'll show you some really awesome things. And so that's a really huge thing, right? So keeping it simple, I've got some little key points here that I talk about and what that means, right? Attention grabbers. This is when it comes to posting on your own wall to grab that attention, right? I, I typically would throw like a cool video. Now you guys have all seen the launch video, right? And it was broken up into a two minute portion and then they uh, gave us access to the whole video. Now that's an attention grabber. It does really highlight Daisy, which is fine. But the attention grabbers I'm talking about are like quick little 10 second, you know, videos that are just like exciting and energetic. And someone's like, well, what's this about? Right. Or you post a funny photo or a funny meme and have some decent, you know, description inside of it of what it's related to or something. Right. 
this could be completely relevant to your business, but what you're doing is gathering that audience, right? Gathering people and building that pipeline. That's very important. So other things, right? Use one post that leads into another. You know, I, I've always done this and I've done this well. And, uh, you know, I always basically, when I'm, when I'm about to, you know, launch something or be a part of something big, I let my people know just that. Hey, I'm on to something big. I've been in the works. You know, I've been I've been doing something. I want people to, to really follow me, and I'll I'll say stay tuned. And it could be a day or two or a week. And those people remember seeing that post. They're gonna wait for that new update, right? So you can lead into that. Um, you know, this is another bullet point that can or can't be done, right? It's up to you. I personally don't think it's the best idea to just post all the information about Daisy or the project you're currently doing and then leave your link there. Reason why is because you've left it all on the table, okay? This person and typically humans in this world, we're all guilty of it at some extent. We've always said no to something before we even dive in, right? We've already counted ourselves out. Oh, I don't wanna recruit. I don't wanna do this. But you don't, I mean, when someone says that, I'm like, hey, have you heard of Daisy or, or this or that? And they're like, oh, do you have to recruit? And I'll say, well, that's where the money's at. You can definitely make some money doing that. And they'll already say they can't do it. And I'll say, well, you've never tried to recruit for Daisy. So you're, you're literally telling me you can't do something you've never even tried to do. So we, we eliminate that real quick, right? So by posting your link and all the information, they don't have any reason to come back to you. They can look at it all and already make their own assumptions. And that's what you don't want to happen. Um, you know, don't post company names or platform names. I mean, they can go and do their own research. Now you can do this. This isn't like a, you can't do this. It's just my preference. And it's what works for a lot of people because the whole goal here is to get people to come to you. Imagine you can't even keep up with your inbox of people wanting more information. That's where this gets, I promise you. It's happened for me. It's happened for people who are all over in the world and I've taught them and they've taught me and we've seen the results. This is real stuff. So going into that next one, posts need to be attractive. No, now typically and, and statistically speaking, if there's a post on the Facebook and it's a big long script with no photo, typically that could get looked over, right? Having a photo, having a video, having something that looks sexy or grabs that attention, even just for that, that, small second right people are scrolling through you'll see the first few sentences up top those are what have to really pull somebody in if you have a longer post because if you click on see more they can see more but you will never be able to see the whole thing unless they click that but most likely they won't click see more if they haven't been you know intrigued from the few words that you posted at the top so you always see that it's like an email header right you guys have seen them before they're really catchy but they bring you in to open that email up so posting videos, all that good stuff, right? Point and tell actions. You'll see a lot of posts say, click on this video below and you'll have an emoji saying, click that video, right? Or, or this, right? Click those videos. You always, you know, I mean, that's a preference as well, but you always want to point someone into the direction you're trying to get them to go because naturally your brains do that. We'll, we'll go right to that piece of attention and we'll click there and move forward. Um, and then honestly, the number one thing that helps me, you guys, and that helps a lot of people out there is be you, be real. If you aren't a salesperson and then you post on your wall, come and join this amazing platform making millions of dollars and you don't have to do this and this and this, like that's all good. But people who typically follow you, they know that's not you. They know that's a little different. And so people would love it if you just said, hey, I've got this amazing opportunity. I don't know how to share it faster than posting it here. I need all my close friends to check this out. I'm just being real with you guys. This is really impacting my life. I don't want you to miss out on it. And then you have that conviction about what you're saying to them and how you're saying it. And you're going to basically be like, I'm going to do this with or without you. So if you come and check this out, take 30 seconds of your time, 30 minutes of your time, whatever that may be, you may never know until you know. And so be you, be real. That's the most important part. Can we go to that next slide? Awesome. So trying to speed through this a little bit, but I do want you guys to really grasp uh, some of this because this is very powerful and anybody can do this, even a 10 year old. So I promise you it's good stuff. Um, you will be told no. Okay. 100% of the time, the more no's you get, the more yeses it leads to. Right. And that's exactly what's on the, on the screen. The more no's it leads, the more no's leads to the next yes. People want to be a part of something. And then consistency is key. 
and building that pipeline. So those are things that I've kind of talked about right now. There's people on Facebook that I've introduced even myself to or talked about crypto or talked about Daisy and weeks later, days later, months later, they may not really want to engage until then, right? But that's where the pipeline becomes effective is because I did work three weeks ago with, you know, Joe. And now he's coming to me because he's now open to this opportunity. You know, I always think of a no as not now, right? Timing is very, very crucial. And you need to understand that and respect that too. If someone says no, just say, okay, well, here's some information. If you want to ponder it while you're, you know, deciding or maybe you're busy, please get back to me. You know, because we could always use a little bit of oomph in our life to add more value. So on this screen, this is a, a technique that goes a very long ways. And I want to explain it to where you guys understand it the best. Showing love on Facebook. Now, that, that may sound silly. It may seem weird. But you do have a like button, a love button, a ha-ha button, a wow button, an angry button. All those actually do something different within the Facebook algorithm. And if you go and heart a post, that's going to boost that post and make it more relevant on Facebook than any other one, than liking, angry, woo, you know, woohoo, all the others. And so this is what we've encouraged our teams to do. And so we actually created a, a group. You can do it on anything, right? A texting group, whatever. And every time you make a post, you have your community go on there and show some love, encouragement you know, wow, that's great. Or send me more info. And if you see a post that's got some pretty cool things on it, and then there's a bunch of comments and likes and shares and well, not likes, hearts, remember, got a heart uh, to boost up that Facebook algorithm. That's a huge, big deal, right? If I posted about an opportunity, or I come across an opportunity on my Facebook wall, and it's got zero engagement, there's, you know, personally, I know some of the behind the scenes of that, but most people are just going to be like, yeah, it's whatever. You know, if you buy products on Facebook or you've bought, you've bought anything and it's got a million reviews or a million views and a bunch of likes and comments, it's probably doing something for somebody, right? So that's the same thing with our posts, you guys. So I encourage you make groups with your teams, you know, and in that group, you just share your post link and then your team can go in there and they can click on their post and they can go like, comment, share. We're all going to start seeing this stuff on social media and just, you know, recognizing people and helping each other out. Go show some love, even if they're not on your team. You simply click the heart button and you say congrats. That's huge with small efforts from you because it does so much behind the scenes that none of us even know about. So I think that's very special. If you want to jump to that next slide. So this is a great thing that kind of piggybacks off Hugh and, and even some of the other speakers that spoke. And it really talks about that, that first kind of initial engagement, right? And, and how to set up the three-way calls or how to set up the three-way chats. I've even done some of those that I can elaborate on for a brief second. But the simplest way to talk to somebody and really get them to just engage with your conversation, because we could easily say, Hey, man, I've checked this out. I want you to see what this is. And you send them a link. You may not know if they're even going to look at that or give you any kind of information from what they see in that post or that, that, that message. So I always use this. And I know some, some of the other leaders have used this as well, is if you have somebody who you want to talk to about this, simply ask them, hey, I'm working on something. I would love your feedback. I, I respect you. You do this. You do that. You own this business. You do so much. I really respect your opinion and your feedback. Can I share this project I'm working on with you? And uh, you let me know, you know, because everyone loves to give their opinions. We know that everyone loves to give feedback. And this could be good or bad. But what have you caused at this point at this moment? Well, now this person thinks that they, you, re, well, I mean, they should think this because you said it, right? And you're being honest about it, but they think that you respect their opinion. You respect their feedback and people love that. So if you say, hey, can I get some of your feedback on this? I'm working on this project. It's, it's, you give them a brief description and then send them, you know, an opportunity recording or invite them to an opportunity meeting, or you can, you know, segue it into a three-way call. There's so many ways to go about it. But if you ask that question, you guys, you will get an opinion or feedback. And if you give them, or if they give it the time of day and they may not watch the video or watch the presentation, you know, with a quiet place and just really focus, but they will grab a few things out of it. 
And one is, is an opportunity, right? We all need something extra in our life this year. All of us. I don't care if you've made a million or you've made millions. You are also looking for an opportunity to add to your life. You can never stop adding value to your life. And if you do, readjust yourself and rethink and come back and then add some more value to your life. So utilizing your upline and your partners is so crucial. It works so many times. I've even done it in chat groups, right? Where, you know, sometimes if you're doing a three-way call and they're on, you know, the phone for an hour and you got a prospect there, you don't know what's going on on the other side of that, that phone call. So obviously a Zoom is really good. So you can really engage right now during COVID. We can't meet up like we would want to. So even in the chats, if someone uses the excuse, I'm just too busy, I can't get on a call right now. Okay, perfect. Let me add you to a chat, me, you, and my, my upline. And we can just kind of go back and forth and spitball a little bit here. And then everything you are talking about is actually saved in the chat. So you don't forget steps. You don't forget maybe a link or, or some, some numbers or uh, some, some, some you know matrices or any kind of numbers that you can plug in and throw at them, right? On some of what we've achieved so far. So really good opportunity there. I think it's amazing to be able to connect this way. Um, and so I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. I believe that's my last slide, if that's correct. And I just want every single one of you to understand that you have such an amazing opportunity here. You know, in my short time of dealing with smart contracts and everything, I've never once, and I, I guarantee you, every speaker on this call can say the same thing. We have never seen this many leaders this many, this much talent, this much passion and courage in anything, anything. And I believe with all of our minds put together and our efforts and our, our passion and vision, we've already got the vehicle. Now it's up to us to do the trainings, to teach our people, to educate them. If they want to do Facebook, great. If they want to do YouTube, great. If they want to do phone calls, great. We've got it all. We've got videos for it, trainings on it. If you're willing to learn, open your mind and really take it to that next level, the rest is history. Daisy is our history. Daisy is our future. And I believe I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for any of these leaders. So I just appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate this, the stage, the voice. Thank you to all you guys that spoke so far. This is amazing. And I just can't wait to continue on. Back to you, back to you, Hugh. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. That was wonderful. And again, it gives us a, a flavor of what can be done online and how to treat uh, the, the Facebook marketing element of attracting business and uh, attracting clientele to your organization. Thanks a million, Chris. That was amazing. Uh, really, really good session there. Thank you, sir.